Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today is video, as you can see, I'm rocking bold lips. That's because I'm talking about a bold subject, which are my bold eyebrows. <laughs> my eyebrows, ladies and gentlemen, are big, are bold, and to me, they are beautiful. I've decided to dedicate a whole video to my eyebrows because I get so many comments about my eyebrows. Never in a million years did I think that people would talk about my eyebrows, but clearly people seem to be fascinated by my big, bold, beautiful eyebrows. And I really don't know why. I think it's the first thing somebody notices about me, my eyebrows, because they're just very dark, mashallah, and they're quite big. So the story of my eyebrows, I have always had big beautiful bold eyebrows I've inherited them from my father and my daughters have inherited them from me I have never actually had any issues concerning my eyebrows growing up because in my time or back in my time seems like a really long time ago but back in my time we were not really concerned about the eyebrows we just knew that before you got married or when you got married that's when you'd actually shave your eyebrows because you're getting married not knowing then any of the religious teachings upon women who have their eyebrows done now just for the sake of talking about this and including it in the video because it was really related now just for the sake of completing this discussion and sharing it as muslim women we are cursed for shaping our eyebrows uh, plucking them tattooing them we are cursed and that is a teaching of our prophet muhammad i do not want this video to be a religious debate i am sharing information and there is no doubt about it so I don't want all oh, but we can clean, all oh, but we can that. No, we cannot. And I am not one to actually have this debate on. There are sheikhs to have this discussion with you. I am simply sharing the story of my eyebrows. Back to the story. As I said, I was never concerned growing up about my eyebrow shape. I knew they were big, they be they're beautiful, and I had no problem with them. That was up until I got married. Now, before getting married, um, I had still thought, no, I, of course, now come to learn about the religious view on women shaping their eyebrows and was keen to keep my eyebrows uh, the way they are naturally. But there are a couple of incidents that um, I wouldn't say changed my mind, but I really don't know what it is, but anyway, one major incident was I had to go to a makeup artist to practice my wedding makeup for the wedding and I hadn't done my eyebrows yet and as soon as I walked in she's like are you the bride to be and I'm like yes all happy and excited she's like and just before we talk about anything else what do you plan on doing with those eyebrows I said I haven't thought about it yet she said oh I'm terribly sorry but if you want me to do your wedding makeup, then those eyebrows have to be shaped. I am not going to do your wedding makeup looking like that because I'm sorry, you will end up looking ugly. And I was just stunned. Here I am, a young girl at the age of 21, trying to do the best I can. I'm already nervous and excited about the whole wedding issue and then is she supposed to help me look good and now she's telling me that because of my big bold eyebrows that she can't and she won't work with me if i don't get my eyebrows done i felt that was rude very insulting not only to me but also to my religion she was a muslim at the end of the day and she had no right to talk to me that way even if i wanted to keep my eyebrows the way they are she had no right to talk to me that way but Maya then well, isn't Maya now, so I was not able to stand up for myself and I simply left. Another funny incident 
is once uh, before I got married, I went into a perfume shop because it was, I think, my dad's birthday or my brother, and I wanted to get them a perfume. So I walked up to the sales lady and said, um, I'm looking for a men's perfume. And then she helped me, and then in the discussion, she's like, I, I know this is not for your husband. Like, how do you know I'm not married? She said, your eyebrows, you haven't shaved your eyebrows. That's how I know you're not married. And although I laughed, but it hit me. So because you haven't done your eyebrows, it doesn't matter about the ring or I don't know. It's all about the eyebrows. So if you do your eyebrows, then you're married. If you don't do your eyebrows, then you're not married. I mean, how pathetic is that? And uh, enough said. So back to my eyebrow story, I did end up doing my eyebrows for my wedding, sadly to say, and I ended up looking good from big eyebrows to nicely thin shaped. Of course I will look good. And I honestly, the only time I think I looked good was on my wedding uh, day and a couple of weeks after that, before they started growing. After that, every time I went to a salon to have my eyebrows done, they would completely change the shape. When they changed the shape, they changed the way I look. I would sometimes be, I don't know, angry. Although I told them I wanted it to be natural, I never ended up looking like the me I was used to seeing. And as you can see, mashallah, they're quite thick. And then they were really thin and I had all this extra space and I just look so different. I'll see if I can put a picture up here. I really don't know if I will, but because I look so different. And not only did I look different, I look so much older, subhanAllah. If I actually showed you the picture, which was taken nearly nine years ago, and of me now, 100% you think I'd look younger now, although I'm actually older. And I think it's my eyebrows. People always comment on how young I look and me, mashallah, I think you're in your teens. I always get these comments and thank you so much for that. And the secret is my eyebrows. I have nothing else to say. My eyebrows are my secret to looking young. And I think my jeans as well because I get them from my dad, mashallah. But I have come to realize that I need to be comfortable with Allah's creation of how he wanted me to look like after the two years it, I used to do my eyebrows for nearly two years a year and a half two years the only time I stopped was when I realized I was pregnant I couldn't for the life of me force myself or go to a salon to have my eyebrow shape knowing that Allah has blessed me with the gift of motherhood I was pregnant I was subhanAllah creating another human being and how am I thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that by doing my eyebrows it just didn't feel right for me and that was a changing point that I decided that I would not do my eyebrows anymore and let me tell you that was the most difficult decision I have made even more difficult than covering my hair because the change was dramatic you society made you feel beautiful they said, yes, you look much beautiful now, you've had your eyebrows done, but yet you... I never really felt comfortable because every couple of weeks I completely look different. And the transition, my, my hair, my eyebrow hair are so thick, mashallah, like quite a lot, and seeing them grow, that transition period was horrible. I used to try and get concealer to conceal the extra hair that was coming out because I wanted to try and look like the old me and the new me it was just really really difficult and this was happening in Australia those who Lubna and Lemia would remember this story because I shared it with them and after they grew completely and I still had a very difficult time because of society I you give power to society to people to judge you for what you want to do you do you're doing it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you're doing it for yourself, but the society brings you down, makes you feel like, why did you do that? Why are you doing it? You have to be strong, you have to decide this is what you're doing it for. You're doing it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're doing it because you want akhirah, you want 
to go to paradise. Now you might be wondering, okay, May, you've shared all of this. Why are you sharing this? I am sharing this because there are girls who are in a similar situation and who really don't know what to do. They know what they should do, but they can't take that first step. I'm here to tell them I have done it. I have gone through it and I am 100% happier for the way I look. I've accepted myself. And subhanAllah, once I accepted myself, everyone else accepted it. Yes, I still get comments on Instagram and on YouTube that, oh, look at her eyebrows, they're so thick. You should shape them, you should do this. To those people I say, I'm sorry, if my eyebrows annoy you that much, just unsubscribe and you know, lead a happier life because you won't be seeing my eyebrows. Those who comment on my eyebrows think how you get them so thick. I'm, I'm blessed with these kind of eyebrows. What do I do to them to get them this way? Nothing. The only thing I do is clear eyebrow gel, which I just put, otherwise they go all crazy. Um, it has taken me a very, very long time and you can't expect to accept yourself immediately. You will have you will get the, the itch to pick up the tweezer and tweeze away to, to get back to what you are, but you always have to think, Allah is I guiding me. I'm doing this for Allah and Allah will help you. At the end, the choice is yours, the life is yours. You choose dunya or you choose akhirah. You can be beautiful with defined eyebrows the way society wants you to be, but what about Allah? How beautiful will you be to Allah? Is it worth being cursed by Allah just because of your eyebrows. The right people will love you for who you are and who you are inside as much as you are on the outside. If you have bold eyebrows and people think you, they don't love you, so are they in love with the eyebrows or are they in love with you? So fall in love with yourself for who you, who you are completely, everything, the inside, the outside, your, perf your perfections and your imperfections. Uh, reminds me of uh, Habiba, who has perfect imperfections uh, to share. Fall in love with yourself for everything that you are, for, for all that Allah has created you, because you are beautiful. Thank you so much for watching my video. May Allah continue to guide us all to the right path, inshallah. Please share this video with anyone who you feel might be in need of hearing that big, bold, beautiful eyebrows are so in and I'm rocking them and let's rock them together for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I shall see you all in the next video inshallah. Ma'asalaamu.